old 2021 movie review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on a movie called Old from 2021. This is a release by M. Night Shyamalan. The basic premise of Old is it's a little bit of a mystery. You don't know exactly what's going on, but there's a group of people on this island and they're aging very, very rapidly. That's kind of like the basic synopsis. Don't wanna get into too many more spoilers or details. All right guys, let's jump into the pros of this movie. The pros is that it had a very unique premise and I think people who even don't really like this movie really like the idea and the premise. It's very unique. You get a lot of these unique challenges that you haven't seen in other movies because I can't really think of a movie that performs like this. Let me know if, down below if there's a movie that's similar to this, but I don't know. I also felt like the scenery was really good. I'm a little sucker for having scenery in a movie. I really do think it helps the whole feel of it and the whole escape of the movie. I really do like some good scenery. And then it had a decent twist. I would say this twist is kind of like not bad, but not the best twist I've ever seen. It kind of evolves at a nice pace. I do feel like some of the characters try some realistic ways to get out, very similar to what I would expect people to try to do to get out. And it's kind of nice that you don't have them doing a bunch of dumb things over and over for like 60 minutes or so. The main pro of this movie, what I liked about it, and for the people who do like this movie, it's the family drama of the aging. There's so many different points in this movie to where you just completely understand somebody's side and you know from the kids having to grow up too fast like your parents are going to be old and frail and now you're the adult like this you know from that aspect to you know certain secrets are being kept and people don't want to obviously die with those secrets so they have to tell the secrets to the people but obviously you know when you hear really damning secrets about somebody it's it takes you a while to kind of warm up to somebody who's just done you wrong but they don't have that here i think about two days is about a lifetime on the beach the main family and their whole drama i found to be the most interesting part of this movie to me it tugged a little bit on my heartstrings but i know there's a lot of people who don't like this movie and weren't engaged and were probably didn't care about that but to me the main family i felt like all their little issues were very very interesting and it got me to feel something for sure all right guys let's jump into the cons of this movie to be honest i don't know what people expect from m night Shyamalan. it's almost like he does these like sci-fi horror style movies and that's kind of like what he's always done people expect him to deliver this huge bombshell but to me I just want like an interesting story with one twist and I'm cool with it. So I actually didn't have very many issues with this movie at all. I know a lot of other people did though. Like it's pretty much gets rated so, so low. Some of the deaths and some of the stories are a little weak. You know, like there's a buff black guy on the island. I felt like his whole situation got wrapped up a little weird. Um, there was like a really thin blonde chick on the island. And I felt like her situation kind of wrapped up a little weird. I watched this movie twice and the second time, you know, they don't really give you a good ending to those characters. And then also, I don't want to get into like any sort of details with this movie, but there's a point where one of the characters is having some difficulty seeing and the other character is trying to stab him. And it's just hard to watch because the guy who's getting stabbed is like, really not fighting back and he's not running away and I understand he can't really see I'm not going to explain why he can't really see but I mean literally he's like like this uh, 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 for like 20 knife shots or something like to me they showed you his his vision his vision was blurry but you could kind of see enough if someone's coming at me with a knife I'm throwing random shots or I'm running this guy just went like oh 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 and then he like put some sand in his eyes. That's all he did. Just put some sand. That, that was it. It's just not really believable for me, you know, personally. But that's really the only cons that I have. I mean, the ending was good. But once you find out the main twist, there's not much more that could happen with this movie. And like I said, the, the aspects I found so interesting was just the family drama between the main four family members. And then another little con I forgot to say is that the older people don't really age that well. There's probably three or four actors who play the kids in this movie at different points in their life. And really none of the characters seem aged at all till, you know, near the end to the point where they're supposed to be like, like pretty much about to die because they're so old. Then they kind of look a little older, but I just felt like for how much effort they put into the kids, they didn't do that much for the parents. And I will say a lot of people had issues with 
too many things happening at once. One of my reviewers I like to watch on, on YouTube, he said that they just don't explore things too much. Like there is some really intense scenes that are over in like a minute and it's just ding, 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 ding. But to me, I actually appreciated the chaos of the situation because if you think about it, if everybody's aging rapidly and certain people have you know issues with their health that are gonna come really, really fast because you're aging so quick, it makes sense that it's just this catastrophe of things happening at once. I see how they would want to explore more of the individual stories, but I just, I didn't have a problem with the pacing of this movie. Now, I would give this a solid 8 out of 10, and I would say, I don't think it's a buy worthy, but I would say for me, it's a strong stream. However, just beware, so many people cannot stand this movie. Like, go on IMDb and they're all going to be like 3 stars, 4 stars. You'd be lucky to get 1, 7, or 8. I actually really enjoyed this movie for what it is, and I don't think I've seen family dynamics played out like I have in this movie. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of old. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Have a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.